Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at the ASP.NET MVC wrapper for HTML5 video player by Infogistix. With the ASP.NET MVC Razor wrapper, uh, you can take the client side jQuery control and work it inside of Visual Studio and instantiate within your MVC views very easily using the helper extension. So what I have in front of me is a new MVC project uh, called MVC jQuery videos and in this project I've already set it up so that all the necessary JavaScript and CSS files are loaded in my views. If you want to learn how to get started doing that, there's going to be another video on that. But in this video we're going to focus on getting directly to the Razor syntax, creating our video player using the Razor view and, um, and run the application to see our videos playing using the HTML5 video tag. So first thing I'm going to do here is I want to pull in the resources so I am going to um, in the home controller I'm going to add a um, source of videos to my view data which I'm going to use uh, as the list when I create my uh, video player in, in the MVC view. So I'm going to come here I'm going to specify a list of string which is basically going to be my video sources. So I'm going to say video sources and uh, I'm going to create a new list of string and I want to copy some of the videos, uh, list of videos from my notepad directly in my code view. And these videos are actually hosted up on our website so it's going to just when I instantiate these videos in my video player it's just going to pull on those videos with a specified format and play it accordingly. So once we have these videos as list uh, let's just store this data into my vData bag. I'm going to call it video sources. Okay. Equals video source. Alright, now I'm going to come to my index view. And um, since it's already ready to go with the InfoGistix helper method, uh, I'm going to just start initializing the um, Razor syntax for it. So, HTML infogistics dot video player, and I can now start setting up properties on it. So, dot sources, which is basically the list of sources that we just assigned in our controller, and we're going to pull that in. So, view data and video sources as a list of string. Okay, So that's going to give us the different formats of videos. Now the reason why we need different formats here is because even though the HTML5 video tag is a standard, the different browsers have different requirements as far as the formats are concerned. So with these two different formats we can now run the video on the, all the modern browsers, i.e. Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. And if, uh, if one browser doesn't support a uh, specific format, it's going to automatically look for other formats so that until it finds the format that it supports. So once we have that sources in our um, in, attached to the video player, let's set up some bookmarks. So I'm going to come here and assign some bookmarks to my uh, video. And this is kind of a collection which uses lambda expressions, and you can use that to assign. Uh, different uh, collections. So here in this case we're setting up bookmarks for our video. So I'm going to do b.add bookmark and a title to it. So I'm going to simply call it uh, bookmark1 and we're going to set a time for it. So when does this actually bookmark start playing into? How, how are we going to break your videos into? So time let's say 14 seconds is where this bookmark kicks in when somebody clicks on it. Uh, let's set up another bookmark. So let's say be add bookmark and set the title of bookmark two and similarly a time of let's say 46 seconds. And close our lambda expression, close our bookmark, and let's set up a couple more properties. Title for my video, so I'm going to just call it my video. And finally, let's set a another option like autoplay, so which is a boolean property, and we'll set it to true. And what it's going to do here is that it's going to start playing as soon as the video player is loaded on the client. 
and as a requirement for the razor syntax we need to call the render method and what it does is it basically takes up all these settings and renders out our uh, video player onto the client and finally let's close our uh, razor helper and uh, run this application so here we have our HTML5 video player and an ASP.NET MVC application and we've initialized our video player using the uh, Razor syntax in MVC3. Um, it's for playing inside of the, the template itself. Here we have the bookmarks being set. Bookmark 1 and bookmark 2 so I can skip to bookmark 2 if I wanted to. And uh, we have all the video playing capabilities around the control so if I can expand it to the full screen or uh, uh, restore it back, uh, volume control uh, play and pause the buttons, and just so that, just to be clear that it's not a plugin and so light or flash plugin, just right click on it, and you get the standard uh, I uh, context menu. So in this video, I just showed you how you can use the new uh, HTML5 video player in the MVC using the Razor syntax. Thanks for watching. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.